Hello sa akong general mathematics students. Let us now discuss simple interest. Okay, let us now discuss illustrating simple and compound interest. Please open your book on page 135. So the learning outcome for this topic is at the end of the lesson, the learner is able to illustrate simple and compound interest and distinguish between simple and compound interest. So outline, we have simple interest. For number one and number two, compound interest. Then we have definition of terms. Lender or creditor. It is the person or institution who invests the money or makes the funds available. Second, the borrower or debtor. It is the person or institution who owes the money or avails of the funds for the lender. So, may yung kag-lender o creditor mao na ang nag-invest sa ato pa katong nagpahuwam. Whereas, may yung kag-borrower or debtor, it is the person nga ning utang. Okay? Next is we have origin or loan date. It is the date on which money is received by the borrower. So, katong pag-loan ni Jao, or paghuwam ni dya na date is what we call as the loan date or the origin date then we have the repayment date or maturity date it is the date on which the money borrowed for or loan is to be completely repaid so kanang imong bayra na ang whole na loan mo ito itawag maturity date or repayment date next is time or term it is symbolized as T. Then we have amount of time in years. The money is borrowed or invested. Or it is the length of time between the origin and maturity dates. So that means ang time is always expressed, must be always expressed in years. So meaning kung ang time is months, ragani, imoju nangi over of 12. Okay? Aron may express it in terms of year. And then the principal is the amount of money borrowed or invested on the origin date. So katong gi, gi butang na money or gi invest na money is what we call as during the original date or the origin date is what we call as the principal. Ang symbol na gamitan is P. And then we have the rate, small letter R. It refers to the annual rate, usually in percent, charged by the lender or rate of increase of the investment. Next is the interest or represented by I, capital letter I. It is the amount paid or earned for the use of money. Katong ipatong. Then we have simple interest or IS. It is the interest that is computed on the principal and then added to it. While the compound interest, I subscript C interest is the computed interest is computed on the principal and also on the accumulated past interest. Then we have the maturity value or future value represented by capital letter F. It is the amount of 30 years that the lender receives from the borrower on the maturity date. So, it is the principal plus interest. Mona is the maturity. Then, we have here the illustration of simple and compound interest. 
suppose you won 10,000 pesos and you plan to invest it for five years a cooperative group offers two percent simple interest rate per year and then a bank offers two percent compounded annually which will you choose and why so again nakadaog ka on 10,000 pesos and you want to plan you plan to invest it in five years and then na ay cooperative group ngayon offer ni mo 2% simple interest rate per year and the bank, a bank also offers you 2% compounded annually so unsa ko na imong pili on so what you are going to do is imo sang solbon ang duha kung which of the two will give you more interest after 5 years so sa simple interest mahitabo mo ni si Jana your 10,000 is your principal then the rate of 2% month uh, yearly so in ikwinta 1,000 times 0 0.02 times 1 equals 200 then 10,000 plus 200 equals 10,200 sa second year times 2 na po ni mo so matang 400 and then 10,040 then sa third year so 10,000 times 0 0.02 so ang 0 0.02 is taken from the divide to 100 and 2% ok so that's why we have 600 and after 3 years na nakay 10,600 then the fourth year 10,000 times 0 0.02 times 4 is 800 so therefore 800 will be added to 10,000 and we have 10,800 and then after 5 years your 10,000 times 0 0.02 times 5 equals 1,000 so 10,000 plus 1,000 equals 11,000 ok so meaning 11,000 imong makuha after 5 years kung ang imong gamiton is simple interest meaning ato ka ma-invest sa cooperative group hari ka sa bank we have 10,000 first times your capital is 10,000 times 0 0.02 times 1 year was 200 and then Ang ibang 200 will be added to your capital. So, it becomes 10,200. So, this 10,200, mauna na yung ibang capital sa second year, the times of 2%. So, mahima ng 204. And 10,200 plus 204, your money now becomes 10,404. Then, 10,404 will be your capital for the third year multiplied by 2% so 10,404 times 0 0.02 times 1 is 208.08 .08. so 10,404 plus 208.08 .08. so your money now after 3 years is 10,612.08 .08. and this is now your new capital for 4th year so multiplied by 0 0.02 times 1 it becomes 212.24 and added to the previous total uh, 10,612.08 so therefore it, your total amount or maturity value becomes 10,824.32 and the fifth year, 10,824.32 multiplied by 0 0.02 times 1, it becomes 216.49. So, we add that nimo sa previous na capital. So, therefore, it becomes 10,824.32 plus 216.49. Your maturity value is 11,040.49. 10,040.81 So notice that if you are going to compare that to um, simple interest 
magpabilin na dyan 10,000 tanan ra. Pili si Ja, uh, mag-change, meaning constant ang imong principal throughout the investment term. But in the compound interest, the interest from the previous year also earned interest. Thus, the interest grows every year. Ang interest ni Madari, mapuno sa kapital. Kaya mo naman po yung kapital ang inyong total na amount. Okay? So, yun na na ang hitabo. So, meaning, um, kapilion ka asa makadapit sa simple interest or sa compound interest. Okay. Um, kung ano, um, ikaw negosyante, pari dito ka sa compound interest. Kung ikaw mga utangay, mapili ka sa simple. Ha? Diba? Kung ikaw mga invest, mas maajo kung ang imong sublan nga business is compound interest kay dako man ang imong kitaon. Whereas, kung ikaw mga utangay, mapili dito ka sa simple and to rest in the arong gamay na po kayang bayroon nun. Okay. So, let us now proceed to simple and to rest. So, learning outcome here is pa Hoy. Patan pa. Okay, our learning outcome here is at the end of the lesson, the learner is able to compute interest, maturity value, and present value in simple interest environment and solve problems involving simple interest. Okay. So, we have here the formula for annual and simple interest. Simple interest is equal to P R T, wherein I sub S is simple interest. P is the principal or the amount invested or borrowed. R is the simple interest rate, and T is the term or times time in years. Okay, example we have bank offers zero point twenty five percent annual simple interest rate for a a particular deposit. How much interest will be earned if 1 million pesos is deposited in this savings account for one year? Okay. So, we have the given information, uh, principal of 1 million, then the, the R, R ni si Jaha, Jaha, yeah. Okay, this is R. The correct lihok. R not. R equals 0.25 percent. Okay, so kay 0.25 percent man. Um, yung pagkadali ha. Okay, what nakita na gali? Ina mao. Na irog man. Pasok. Okay. So we have here earning point zero five point twenty five percent, and since this is in percent, we are going to convert uh, this percent to decimal by moving the point two places to the left. So since it is given that the account is to be deposited for one year, the amount time is one year. So, in order to find the interest, just multiply 1 million by PRT man. So, 1 million times 0 0.0025 times 1. So, therefore, the interest earned is 2,500. Okay. Okay, for number 2, 
we have how much interest is charged when 50,000 pesos is borrowed for 9 months at an annual interest rate of 10%. So, in this case, we have 50,000 as our principal, then the R is 10%, moving the point two places to the left, so therefore we have 0 0.10. And since a given kay, iba, 9 months, huh? 9 months, and we need to express man in years, that's why we are going to divide 9 divided by 12 year. So, if we are going to divide 9 over 12, that is equivalent to 0.75 year. So, okay. So, the solution here is since we have I was PRT, so we replace na nato ang there is a given. I replace na nato ang uh, P with 50,000, then ang rate with 10, point 10, and then ang time na to is 0.75. Okay, so therefore, we have here 50,000 times 0.10 times 9 over 12 or 0.75. So the answer is 3,750 pesos. It's the interest, simple interest uh, charge. Okay, next is we are going to complete the table below by finding the unknown. So we have here for letter A, we are going to find the principal for b we have to find the rate for c we have to find the time and d we are going to find the interest okay so in the in a notice that there is given r equals 2.5 and 2.5 can be 2.5 percent is similar to 0 0.025 okay then the time is 4 and the uh, i sub s is equal to 1500 okay from the formula i sub s is equal to prt so, kung sulbo ni mo ang P, kami, we are going to divide both sides by RT. So, mo na cancel out. So, therefore, ang formula sa principal is I sub S over RT. And then, afterwards, you replace the interest with 1,500, then 0 0.025 times 4. So, just divide uh, 1,500 1,500 divided by uh, 0 0.025 times uh, 4 equals the answer is pila. So, 1,500 divided by 0 0.01, 0 0.1 that I. Okay, so the answer is 15,000 pesos. Okay, next is we are going to find the unknown rate. So, again, we are given that uh, the principal here equals 36,000 then we have time of 1.5 then interest equals 4,860 
Okay, so again, from the formula nga P is equal to, oh no, I is equal to PRT. So, mangita mang kag R, i-divide ni ang both sides with PT. So, muna ang formula karon R equals I S over PT. So, just substitute the interest with 4,860 ang principal na 36,000 then times 1.5 so imong unahon sa 36,000 huwag may calculator nga scientific it times ni mo sa 1.5 and then ang answer is 54,000 so 4,860 divided by 54,000 so manang ang answer is 0.09. Ang kanang 0.09 decimal pa man na. So, we are going to move two places points to the right. That's why the answer is 9%. Okay. Letter C. The unknown there is time. So, we have a given we have a principle of 250 P is equal to 250,000 then uh, the rate is equal to 0.5% or this is equivalent to 0.005 by moving the point two places to the left then ang imong I is equal to 275 So, again, using the formula nga I equals PRT. So, ang imong pangitaon kay time man. So, therefore, i-over ang I with PR. So, we have 275 divided by 250,000 times 0.005. So, solving. So, the answer would be sakto ba? So, ba nang isang 250,000 times 0.005. So, 1 to 50. So, 275 divided by 1 to 50. So, the, the number of years, therefore, is 0.22 years. Okay. And the last one, letter D, is the given principle is equal to 500,000 then we have the rate of 12.5% then the time is 10 years 10 years then our i is unknown Okay, so again, using the formula I equals PRT, since ang imong pangitaon is I, so diretso na ka, substitute 500,000 times 0.125, kay move mo nila itong point dere o two places to the left, so 500,000 times 0.125, It times pagjud ni mo ang 10 years. So, therefore, ang imong interest would be 625,000 pesos. Okay. Next is, when invested at an annual interest rate of 7%, the amount earned 11,200 of simple interest in 2 years. How much money was originally invested? So, klaro no nga ang imong interest rate is seven percent. The amount earned. So when we say the amount earned, simple interest in two years, meaning it refers to the interest. So how much money was originally invested? So meaning we are to find the principal principal nga dili principal sa swilahan kaya may kagain principal to us principal's office <laughs> okay so kay ang um, 
I equals PRT man to no. Ang formula, I equals PRT. So, meaning, ang imong pangitaon kay principal man, e divide na to ang both sides with RT. Okay, so that's why the formula, cross out naman ni, ang cross out naman na to ang RT. So, P now equals I, or interest simple, over rate times time. Okay? So, we have 11,200 for interest. Then, the rate is 7%, moving the point to places to the left, we have 0 0.07, and the time is 2. So, I multiply na to ang 0 0.07 times 2, 0 0.14. So, 11,200 divided by 0.14. So, the answer is 80,000 pesos. Mone ijangi invest. Okay? Next is sample number five. If an entrepreneur applies for a loan amounting to 500,000 pesos in a bank, the simple interest of which is 157,500 for three years, what interest rate is being charged? So we have here given a principal which is 500,000 pesos, then an interest earned, simple interest earned is 157,500 pesos. And the time is two years. And we need to find the, the rate. So, kay rate man, ang ipangita. Therefore, rate is equal to interest over principal times time. So, substituting, we have 157,500 divided by... 500,000 times 3. So, 500,000 times 3, pilaman. Equals 15,000. Fifteen thousand is 1 million 500,000. So, um, 157,500. I divide that na to sa 1,500,000 equals up 0 0.105 or move the point uh, two places to the right so therefore it's 10.5% so the bank charged an annual simple interest rate of 10.5% Okay, next is how long how long will a principal earn an interest equal to half of it at 5% interest. So, ang principal ko no mo earn ko no o interest na equal to half of it at 5% simple interests so the question is we are going to find the time no so what pata kasabot o pili principal o ang gigiven na nato is ang interest ra so we let principal be p then r is 5% which can be uh, converted to 0 0.05 and the interest is one half of the principal so it is similar to 0.5 p so kay mangita man ta sa time the formula we are going to use is time equals interest over pr so kay ang interest kay 0.5 p man and then p na to kay p ra then, ang atong R is 0 0.05. So, we can cancel here the P. And then, 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.05. Mm. 
So, ang answer is 10 years. So, after 10 years, mauna na ang relationship or ma-earn ni John and si Paul. Ma-interest the eye. Okay. Next is maturity value. So, the maturity value or F or future value is equal to principal plus interest. Where F mat F is for maturity or future value. P is the principal. I sub S is equal to simple interest. So, atong is substitute ni ang atong I with PRT. So, notice nga mo ni may tabo. Kantong I is ang formula ni Joker principal times rate times time. Ano? And then, a plus nyo sa P, mo nang madubli na si Ja. So, we have a common uh, coefficient of P. So, it take out na nga P. So, therefore, P quantity 1 plus RT. So, the formula di I of getting the future value, pwede na punto of P plus interest or principal plus interest provided that the principal and interest are given. But, kung wa gani i-given ang interest, given ang principal rate ra o time, so, kaning ang formula yung mga gamitan. Okay. Then, we have number 7. Find the maturity value if 1 million pesos is deposited in a bank at an annual simple interest rate of 0.25% after A, 1 year, B, 5 years. So, the given is 1 million pesos. The rate is 0.25 which can be converted to 0 0.0025. A, we are going to find the future value F after one year and B, find the maturity or future value F after five years. Okay, the first method, ato sang solbon ang interest. So, we have 1 million times 0 0.0025 times one year. So, we got uh, 2,500. So, ang 2,500 mo na interest to be added to 1 million therefore the future value would be 1 million 2,500 okay so katong second yung formula atong gamiton hala ito. okay method 2 that we can directly solve the future value f using the second formula that p or f is equal to p quantity 1 plus RT. So, substitute ni mo ang P with 1 million times quantity 1 plus the rate of 0 0.0025 times 1 year. So, the answer is 1.0025. So, it's 1 plus 0 0.0025 equals 1,000 a uh, 1 1.0025 multiplied by 1 million so the answer is 1 million 2,500 which is pariharagi hapon sa ganina katong first na solution okay after 5 years na what about after koan 5 Yes, one year na. Okay. So first thing to do in method one, we are going to substitute the principal with one million times point zero zero two five times five years. So the answer would be twelve thousand five hundred. We add ng twelve thousand five hundred so one million. Ang imong answer is one million uh twelve thousand five hundred. So, so method two I replace any mong P with 1 million, then pl a 1 plus the rate of 0 0.0025 times the time is 5. So we now have 1 million 12,500. So which is parihara 
So you can use any of the two processes, two ways. Okay, we have here sold examples. Okay, what are the amounts of interest and maturity value of a loan for 25,000 pesos at 12%? simple interest for five years so it is given that we have 25,000 pesos for principal and then the rate is 12 percent changing that to decimal that is why we have 0 0.12 0 0.12 on atom rate and the time is five years so getting the the solution we have 25,000 times 0.12 times 5 so the answer is 15,000 finding the the future value by adding 25,000 plus 15,000 so the answer is 40,000 so ato gigamit the rekay ang two ways ah ang one way nga mangita interest then ang future value Okay, and then how much will you have after four years and three months if you deposited 10,000 pesos in a bank that pays 0.5% simple interest? So we have 10,000 pesos. The, the rate is 0 0.005 because we are to move the point here to places to the left. And... Ang time is 4.25 Ngayon naman Kay 4 years and 3 months 3 out of 12 So it is equivalent to 4.25 Okay, this is 1 fourth na dyan. Okay So replacing the value If we are going to use the, the second formula We have P is 10,000 times quantity 1 plus RT so multiplying this 2 then a plus a 1 a plus a 10 so we can now have 10,212.25 pesos Okay, next is at what simple interest rate per annum will 1 peso become 2 peso in 2 years? So the principal is 1 and the final amount is 2 after 1 year. So ang imorang buhaton first to find the interest is you have to subtract kay diba ang formula ganina kay future value is equal to uh, principal plus interest so if we are going to find the interest we have to subtract both sides by by p okay so that is why our formula would be i is equal to f minus p okay F minus T. So that's why you are going to subtract 2 minus 1 and the answer is 1. So the interest of 1 over the principal is also 1 times 2 nga time. So that's why we have 1 over 2 or 0.5. That's why we have 0.5. 0.5 and answer and 0.5 can be converted to 50%. Diba? Ito ba siya 50%? Okay. Next is how long will 1 million pesos earn a simple interest of 100,000 pesos? at 1% per annum 
So we have one million. How long? So how long? Gani is we are asking. We are asked for for time. So we have uh, one million as our principal. Then we have one hundred thousand as our interest. And the rate is one percent, moving the point two places to the to the left one two. So we have zero point zero one, and we need to find the time in years. So replace I S with one hundred thousand over one million times point zero one. So that's why we are going to divide one hundred thousand divided by um, how many? One hundred thousand. How much? Point two. Divide by two. Two ha tong One hundred thousand divided by ten thousand. So, pila may answer? Equal sakto ba ng ten? Okay, it's ten years. Okay, last example is we have how much should you invest at simple interest is 7.5% in order to have 300,000 pesos in two years. So the, the rate given is 7.5, moving the point to places to the left, we can have 0 0.075. And the principal is unknown with time, yeah, two years. So, from the formula, F is equal to P quantity 1 plus RT. Tanaman to no. So, by principal may gipangita, we need to divide both sides by P quantity 1 plus RT. P kas po, divide po doon P P quantity 1 plus RT Cancel me So therefore Ang hibilin Kung saan naman naman So F is equal to Or P Pag na ning P 1 plus RT right divide so, F over 1 plus RT. So, that is why we have here F over 1 plus RT. Then, substituting the F with 300,000 over 1 plus 0 0.075 times 2. So, 0 0.075 times 2. Is 0 0.15 plus 1 equals 1.15. So 300,000 divided by 1.15. So the answer is 260,869.56521739, or that is similar to 260,869.57. Okay, so may mga question nga wak na sabdan, just PM me. Okay, so this will be all for simple and to rest. So I do hope na klaro gamay, gamay ra. Okay, thank you everyone. So lain na po nga video ang saningan, compound and to rest kay kanang taas ng oras. Okay, thank you and God bless.